Let us now look at the following example that deals with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that relates the uncertainty in time and the uncertainty in energy. So, let's begin. An electron in the n equals 2 energy level of the hydrogen atom remains in that level for 80 nanoseconds before transitioning to a lower energy level given by n equals 1. So in part A, we want to determine the uncertainty in the energy that is released when that electron jumps from n equals 2 to n equals 1. So, let's begin by applying the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that relates the uncertainty in time and the uncertainty in energy. So, the product of these two uncertainties is approximately equal to h bar, our constant. So, 1.055 times 10 to negative 34 joules multiplied by second. So, basically, we want to for delta E. So delta E is, is approximately equal to h bar, this value, divided by the uncertainty in time, which is equal to 80 nanoseconds, or 80 times 10 to negative 9 seconds. We divide these two quantities, the seconds will cancel, and we're left with an uncertainty in energy of 1.319 times 10 to negative 27 joules. Now, Let's move on to part B. In part B, we want to determine the fraction of energy that this uncertainty represents with respect to the total energy that is released by that electron during that transition. So basically, when that electron jumps from energy level n equals 2 to energy level n equals 1, it releases a photon of energy. So first we want to calculate how much energy is stored within that photon and then we want to calculate the fraction. So to calculate how much energy is stored within Within that photon of light that is released during that transition, we have to apply the Rydberg equation, which states that 1 divided by lambda, the wavelength of light released during that transition, is equal to r, the Rydberg constant, multiplied by 1 divided by n1 squared minus 1 divided by n2 squared, where n1 is energy level n equals 1, and n2 is energy level level n equals 2 and r is the Rydberg constant. So basically if we, if we use this equation and solve for lambda that will give us the wavelength of the photon of light that is released during that transition and then using that wavelength we can calculate what the energy is that is stored within that photon and that gives us the total energy that is released and then we use that and this result from part A to calculate the fraction of energy that this represents. So, let's actually plug in our values. So, n1 is equal to 1 and n2 squared is equal to 4. So, 1 minus 0 0.25 gives us 0 0.75. We multiply that by the Rydberg constant, 1.097 times 10 to the 7 meters to the negative 1, and then we solve for our wavelength. And the wavelength is about equal to 1.215 times 10 to negative 7 meters. So now we use the following equation to calculate the energy stored within that photon of light released. So H, Planck's constant, multiplied by C, the speed of that photon in a vacuum, divided by our wavelength, this quantity, and that gives us 1.636 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. This is the quantity of energy that is released when that electron transitions from n equals 2 energy level to n equals 1. Finally, to find the fraction that this energy represents, we take this quantity and divide it by this value. So 1.319 times 10 to negative 27 joules divided by 1.636 times 10 to negative 18 joules, and that gives us about 8.06 times 10 to negative 10, which is approximately equal to a fraction of 1 divided by 
1.24 times 10 to the 9. So this is the fraction of energy that this quantity, this uncertainty represents with respect to the total energy that is released during that transition.